Okay, guys, <clears throat> this is about Andrew Holmes. Um, he, uh, ran some scams as far as money goes, and then he ran for office. Um, so what was Kanika Jenkins all about? Um, notoriety, fame, and we're going to go back and see if I can, I'm going to go back and see if I can actually trace the money if there was any made off of her case. I have um, caught the scams, though, concerning some other people. Um, okay. He became a Dalton trustee, he said, for three years. Actually, he got elected in 2019 um, under Dalton, Illinois. He's listed as a crisis responder, from, and it's actually a mental health, and that's under... Um, Crisis, I mean, Chicago survivors listed as his employee. He does have an Andrew Holmes Foundation. Okay. Um, he did not work for Total Protection Consultants, Inc. He is not the president of this place. Um, Carlos Rodriguez is actually the president. Um, and this is where the scam starts. Um, also, it can't be verified whether he actually worked for Terry Peterson or Milton Patterson. Um, and this was way before. We're talking about early, to, you know, 2004, 2009. And, um, so, his foundation is listed as a 501c3. There's all that information you need. His address is in. There's the file. The date. Pay attention to the date. 2-28-18. This was after Kanika Jenkins. Okay. I don't know. He got an award from the FBI. Listing him as member and president of Operation Restoring. And when you look this up, this is actually um, the charity part of um, right here, Total Protection Consultants, Inc. Okay, it's an investigative detective agency. Um, and like I said, Carlos Rodriguez, if you bring up their page, it's the same people. Um, for uh, Operation Restoring, it does deal with human and sex trafficking. No surprise he's connecting up to this. Tons of it happened in the Kanika Jones case, Janika's cases. Um, now, a lot of people know about the Kanika Jenkins case. They also know about um, Quisola Mims, um, which actually um, hell of a chick found. So shout out to her for this, for that. But there was another case also, which everybody missed. And here it is, right here. Vasu Deva, Keith Reddy. He was a landlord in Chicago, Englewood. The two guys that actually killed him were Tony Green and Elijah Green. They strangled him. They, um were his tenants, and he came to pick up the rent and um, supposedly fix a leak, and they killed him, and they threw him in the sewer. So, um, he went missing uh, August 4th, 2018. He was found uh, September 28th, 2018. Now, the interesting thing about this is... Um, his foundation was already in play. You gotta pay attention to the dates. 228-18. Now something interesting happened. Um, Andrew Holmes on the GoFundMe page is the beneficiary of the money. His wife or daughter, whoever Caroline Keith Reddy is, was the organizer. And he got 
$8,277. Holy shit. Okay, moving on. Um, tried to check with the Illinois Board of uh, Elections. I need his birth date. I don't have his birth date. They're requiring it for me to access the file. Um, operation restoring. There it is right there. Total protection. There's the name of the guy. Second guy. There's also a third guy. Um, he also ran under the party in Dalton, Illinois, uh, called the New Dalton Democrats. It was only him and two other people. Tammy Brown and Edward Stiav. Trustees. One seat in 2019. Listed his address as 14709 State, Dalton, Dalton Illinois, 60419. Let's see addresses of the other two. There's only three people to this whole party. They're all in Dalton. Um, what I really think what's going on is um, he knows the people who are murdering these people. This is what I think. This is my belief from what I am seeing. Um... He lied about a lot of things. One minute he's saying he went in and became anti-gun. He's an anti-gun activist. But none of these people were killed by a gun. None of them. Not Kanika Jenkins. Not Kosola Mims, who was decapitated. And not Vasu Diva. Keith Freddy strangled. Yeah. Um, so these, and he also says that he has lost two children in uh, five years. So I don't buy all this crap with this guy. I never did. Something just didn't feel right. Oh, he also has an alias. Andrew Holmes. H-O-M-E-S. Um, being he worked, I don't want to show you something. He supposedly he worked as an aide for these people. I can't verify that. But I did do some background check on them. Now, Milton Patterson... He's, um, he's the owner of state rep. He worked for the Appropriations Public Safety. Okay, what's his corporation listed for? Public Society Benefit and Public Safety. Housing and Urban Development. And we know this actually um, connects back to the employees back at the Crown Plaza. UNC, UNC, Fed, F-E-D, 2. You can find it on his website. Shout out to him. Computer Technology Committee. Well, well, well. We got all that video that's just all messed up and tampered with. Um, so, not seeing too much other than Terry Peterson, he was the Vice President of Government Affairs at Rush University Medical Center. But he did a phenomenal job, from what I understand. Um, on a Chicago, uh, he's also on the Chicago Housing Authority from 2000 to 2006. That's Peterson, Terry Peterson. But he, he did a phenomenal job. Uh, he was a chairman of the Chicago Transit Board. And he really did a, a really good job. Um, and he just retired in 2020. So, um, 
you know, even the FBI got scammed, or did they get scammed? Don't think so. I think they knew. Because um, I'm sure that reward came with a probably small amount of money. Um, but um, the fact that he's taking money from um, murder victims' families um, should be picking up on people's ears.